fragility. Let's see what's in here. This showed up. This was being transported upside down, so I think it's okay. I hope it's okay. Let's find out. Daddy. Oh, I couldn't cut it. This stuff's tough. Man, what the? Hold on. Ow! The bottom foot broke, so I guess that's why they were just carrying it upside down. Don't know how to open this. I've never opened a crate before. I'm just gonna pry it open, right? That? Seems that? like the right thing to do. What's in there? I don't know. Let's find out. Find out. Get out of the way. Okay. There's pointy nails in here. All right. There's a big foam. The people that sent this. There we go. All right. Danger. Non professionals do not open. Visible and invisible laser radiation. Must wear protective goggles. It looks like this survived the trip. It's a little woody in here, probably from bouncing around. Uh, let's open this up. It's raining out here, I might have to stop. Oh, it smells funky though. Bogong, bogong. All right, let's see what this is about. I've only seen pictures and stuff of this. What is this thing? This is a laser cleaner. It's about yay big. It's roughly like the size of a desktop computer, like a gaming computer. Um, this is a laser cleaner. It is a 300 watt pulse unit. They are continuous and pulse or whatever. I'm not gonna get into that right now. I'm just opening up my 300 watt pulse unit. It's five megajoules, MJ. You can open it up. This is where your cable and stuff goes. This is the cleaning head. It looks like a little gun, pew pew. Uh, there's a little screen here where you can actuate and change different features and settings that you can do either on the machine itself over here or on the gun itself. There's the laser part and there's a little pop out handle for you to hold. You can see it's a pretty simple unit. There's a touch screen here, there's start button, emergency stop, the on and off switch for the key so that way it's safety locked and someone doesn't accidentally play with this. I don't know. Most people just end up leaving the key here. So I've never opened it up. I don't want to open it up. This is the Bogong unit. I got it from Bogong, Bogong CNC. Uh, they sell CNC units, laser cleaning things, laser welders, all kinds of cool stuff. See, this was just made February 24th. I ordered this um, sometime around that time. I bought this and it showed up real quick. I think it was, the entire deal was within a week once I said okay. So there's a power switch here. I think that's probably a serial number. This is kind of like a breaker. It's just the main power switch. Over here, there's air inlet. You're supposed to run a small six millimeter airline into here. I wasn't familiar with this and I had to buy all the weird pieces to make that work. I wish they have like a regular standard American thing when it's sold in the American market. I don't know what automatic interface is yet. I gotta look that up, but it looks like it takes some sort of a controller. And then there's the power socket right there. These are dangerous lasers and stuff. It is class four. I don't know what the different classes are, but apparently this will melt your eyeballs and all kinds of other stuff. I'm just gonna do like a test run with stuff just to try to figure things out. I'll have more videos on it soon. I just gotta set it up. Like I just got the wiring and the airline hooked up. I gotta turn all this stuff on. Uh, oh, I need to turn on the power. Let's see. There's a power switch in the back. This is uh, mine's set up to be 220 volt. I'm told it's 10 amps, but uh, it is what it is. I'm not sure. So go to on can hear this stuff start up. Laser in use, use your protective eyewear. I got some protective eyewear for once because I don't want to melt my eyeballs, right? So let's see, there's all these different modes and stuff. I'm gonna do like oils, whatever. I'm not exactly sure. I've looked through the thing. I haven't tried all the modes yet, so I gotta figure it all out. I have this set to have this set to all like the default stuff, the distance. Uh, what else can I do here? Method. There's like a width and whatever. So I'm not gonna mess with that stuff yet. I'm just gonna start in this regular mode. Oh, okay, that turns on the air compressor system. That spooked me for a sec. This is, hold on, stop it.
This is a adapter, not the bell housing starter adapter plate thing for a Suzuki Cappuccino, I believe. So there's all this crusty stuff. This isn't actually rusty. There's a little bit, but it's mostly dirt and grime and oil. Um, I plan on using this on my truck. You can see how sanding or blasting this would be a nightmare. So the laser would do quick work of this. So I wanna do some practice runs first before I start. This is the laser gun you're not supposed to look at. This is the bad end of it. It's just basically like, pretend it's a real gun and you don't look down the barrel of the gun. This one has a touch screen over here. I don't know if you can see because of how bright it is out here, but I can actuate all the controls. Let's see there. I decided to get myself a mask too, because uh, there's some fumes and stuff that burn off of this material, like all the oils, the dust, whatever's coming off of that is just blowing around. I switched between a few scan modes in there. You can probably like see the, the what looks like brushed metal, like the markings. I think if I go through that again with like a, a smoother mode, it will just clear off all the things that look like, makes this look like brushed metal right now. That's pretty cool. I like how it like etched this thing onto this piece of metal. Uh, I can redo the back a little bit better now that I'm getting the hang of it. The trick is getting like the right distance and keeping it consistent throughout. But, hi, what is this? A few minutes of time. Now I got this nice, that's a little warm. I can feel it, but this is pretty cool. Now I can definitely restore like some of these things because sanding that kind of stuff would be a nightmare. Maybe I should just shoot it here and hit. No, I'm not ready to paint. It's too windy. I don't want to do it right now. Uh, let's see, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna test more objects that I have that I can blast with a laser. You know what, just for the heck of it, let's burn some paint and rust off right here. Wow, this is gonna make short work of this. I mean, it's gonna take me a little while because I have a 300 watt unit. I didn't wanna buy the continuous laser. The continuous laser would have really stripped all this down, but I'm gonna work on this on sections anyways. This is gonna be great. Um, I'm gonna try a different scan mode that might be more efficient for this type of work, but you can see how it stripped it down to the bare metal underneath. That's pretty cool.
Thank <laughs> you.